All right, in this video, we're gonna cover how you can read a summary of your performance using the performance screen. The performance screen basically allows each user in your company to select and access the metrics, goals, data boards, or reports that matter most to them at a glance. To access it, you just simply click the home icon on the left-hand navigation and you'll come here. And now this is pretty empty because this is the demo account, but we'll walk through some of the options that you have here. First, notice that there are three main sections. First, we have our performance overview here in the center. This is where we can add or view up to 10 selected metrics or goals. Then we have our recently viewed, and we can see that we could jump back into some of the assets here in Databox that we are recently working on. And then on the right-hand side, we can view trending metrics and insights. So we can look and see what metrics are trending up or down, or we could click here and view activity happening within the account. Okay, so let's talk about how to add or metric or goal to your performance overview. One of the easiest ways to do it is to come and find an empty plus box here and click this, and we can select metric or goal. So I'll go ahead and add a metric. And let's say that we want to do, let's do our deals metric, which we did again. And we'll do deals created from within HubSpot. And you can see that we've added that here. And we could go on and add the next one. We could add a goal or add a number of other metrics. There's also something that you'll begin to see, which is color coding going on here. So you can read more about this in our knowledge base, but you'll see the color green to indicate positive change on a goal if something's on track, red if there's negative change, um, blue if there's no comparison for metrics, or, go or yellow if your goal is at risk. So if you add a goal here and there's color indications that will give you a quick visual illustration of how things are going. Okay, so let's go ahead and add two more metrics here just for an example. Let's do active users. And we'll go ahead and add another metric. Let's see deals closed one. And obviously everything's looking red here because as a demo account with dummy data, everything has been trending down. Okay, now that we've added four metrics here, we can see one last thing, which is our AI powered performance summary. If we scroll up to the top, this requires three or more metrics in order to populate, but we leverage Databox AI in order to provide a comprehensive performance summary doing tailored recommendations on how to improve. So we can see that we can filter by the last seven days or the last 30 days, and this gives basically an auto-generated update on how all these key metrics that I've added here are performing. So this is, the, the performance screen is especially useful and valuable for a few use cases. Let's say that you're a busy manager and you wanna keep a pulse on your team's performance. Maybe you've got multiple team members that are all working on different campaigns or different areas of sales or something like that. You could pin your most important metrics here and your most important goals, and then every time you log in, you're able to get a quick written overview here generated by AI and get a quick visual and see what's trending up or down. So you can quickly hone in on what needs to be worked on improving, what maybe sh you should be flagging for importance to address with other team members, etc. The other use case might be an account manager at a marketing agency, and there you want to add key metrics from a client's campaign so that you get a quick performance overview of that and you can see the health of their campaign or what's trending up or down and what you need to pay attention to. So this is all accessible in the performance overview.